Alright, thank you for tuning in guys. Today we'll be doing a little interesting video. Uh, we have two X11s here and one of them is equipped with a mechanical hard drive, a Western Digital Scorpio Black, the one on the right and the one on the left is equipped with a Samsung 840 SSD. So a lot of users have been asking us about the difference between a solid state drive and a mechanical drive and I think we just want to illustrate that a little today when we look at these two machines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start them both up and I'm going to show you the difference. So the biggest difference between a solid state drive powered machine and a non solid state drive powered machine is actually the behavior after startup. Even though the startup on the solid state drive machine on the left is much faster than the HDD on the right, um, what you're going to see after that is the main reason why people like solid state drives. So the moment I boot into the system on a solid state drive, I'm already in and the system is no longer loading any background services or applications. I can immediately start clicking on applications and running them and they open practically instantly. So that's what people really like about the solid state drives, the fact that they're just so responsive and there's no spin up time. As you can see the machine on the right with the mechanical hard drive is still loading up and once you're in, the system is still loading many background applications and services in the background and if I start clicking on things, the response is not immediate like the way you saw it on the solid state drive. Using a solid state drive just gives you that really snappy feeling that comes with many of the tablets that you see on the market these days, partially because most of them are equipped with flash memory as well. So one of the questions that always gets um, posed to us is if SSDs would affect gaming performance. Well, the thing about SSDs is in most cases it only affects loading times, but there are some games where having a solid state drive can be a huge, huge performance boost. An example of such a game is Diablo 3. So I'm going to load up Diablo 3 on this um, solid state drive powered X11 now, um, powered by the Samsung 840, and we'll just take a look at how that performs, and then after that we'll look at the X11 with the mechanical hard drive, and I'll explain the difference as we go. So the first thing you notice about running in Diablo 3 on a solid state drive is of course the load times are really quick, but that's actually not the main draw. Let's just get connected. Alright, so the thing about mechanical drives in Diablo is that whenever you cast a new spell when you, or when you just load into the game or a new zone, um, the game has to actually access information from the hard drive. It's a very disk intensive sort of application. And as you can see, if I solid state drive, the moment I get into the game, I can go to any zone, any location I want. I can start engaging. I can run across the map and there's absolutely no jerkiness in the gameplay. So, solid state drives are, allow for such an experience, especially on a notebook, it's a huge thing for just one or two games. Uh, Diablo 3 happens to be one of them where we, we noted some clear performance benefit. And we're going to take a look at this on the mechanical drive in a moment, so you will be able to see the difference. Okay, so now we'll be taking a look at the X11 with the mechanical hard drive. This one is equipped with one of the fastest notebook mechanical hard drives. Um, rotational speed at 7200 RPM. And we're just going to load up Diablo 3 here. And you'll be able to see some of the differences right away. Um, especially on the loading time. But the biggest difference is you'll see on the actual gameplay itself when we just enter the game. So as you can see, the loading time of course is longer as the read access speeds are much slower on a mechanical drive as compared to a solid state drive. So we're going to load up and we're going to go to the exact same location and we're going to engage in combat. And the first thing you'll notice 
um, of course, even before I engage in combat, is that um, yes, it's quite takes quite much longer to load. But at this point, when I actually run around the location, you can see there's actually some jerks because the hard drive is still being accessed for information about the map. And this will be even more evident when I actually go jump into combat. It takes a while before all the information is cached in a RAM. Um, and yes, the game will run smoothly even on a mechanical hard drive. But whenever you cast a new spell, or you know, whenever you do. Um, engage different monsters um, sometimes the hard drive will have to be accessed for data and only after that it's caged this will become smooth so the experience on the mechanical hard drive for this game will be decent as well but definitely on a solid state drive it feels superior especially when you're playing in hardcore mode where one mistake can mean that you'll lose your character so as you can see there are uh, spikes from time to time as the hard drive is being accessed for the new information and but once that information has been accessed, it turns really smooth. So that's the difference between a solid state drive and a mechanical drive for Diablo 3. Uh, for most games, there isn't this kind of difference, but it just happens to be more profound here, which is why we chose this. Um, the biggest benefit of the solid state drive is actually the snappy feeling that it gives you when apps and just about anything loads much, much faster. The system with a solid state drive just feels a whole lot more responsive.